All right, after some criticism from my uh, last video, which was basically using reactants to lower your current to around 50 milliamps and use that as a lamp driver to pulse a capacitor into um, super capacitors, and I was stressing that it doesn't really matter which way you use your input, but anyways, I figured out another way to satisfy those who don't want to use reactants but will get the same effect if you're willing to build a more complicated circuit, this one runs off of a cheap 9 volt battery. We build a coil here. I use telephone wire, roughly 300 turns. Turns. I measured it to be rough single coil to be um, 1.9 ohms. No core in the middle, air core. And what I have here is a controller here, which allows me to control my frequency and pulse cycle which goes into basically a base resistor of an NPN power transistor here that's mounted on here and what this does is it switches this battery into this coil and we get a high voltage back EMF here and we collect that and we charge this capacitor here quickly very quickly at over 100 volts and we have a protection neon here on the transistor uh, that limits um, the back EMF to no more than 100 volts. When the 100 volts reaches the capacitor here at 10 UF, another neon fires into an SCR here that's mounted crudely glued on the capacitor. And this fires the charge into the supercapacitor bank, again running my high frequency efficient inverter, which will run our light. Right now it's off at the same lumens we were doing earlier but without the reactants box plugged into the mains we can do it with very little energy and I will show you what happens when I plug in right here this is the source battery 9 volts so this triggers right now this is what I have set 10 Hertz 10 percent cycle duty we want to make sure to not use current so we knock the cycle duty really sharp to hold the current back and this is what goes on here, you'll see it. This flash over here is the first neon on the transistor that limits the back EMF to 100 volts. And the second one here you see, that's the SCR. Every flash is a firing 100 volts into this capacitor bank. And right now, the driver is very low usage because I'm using a rectifier here at 5 volts. So this is very little we're not pull, using this to pulse at all, we're just using it as a switch to control the transistor which pulses our neon into the capacitor dump with the SCR. And here's the inverter. So I'm going to connect that to show you it works as good this way and those who won't. So we're going to connect the inverter to the super capacitor bank and we're going to have light. There you go. So we're getting the exact, this is very bright by the way, same effect here going on and we're still maintaining the charge, the charge is, is always charging the capacitor bank and we're able to maintain here. The light doesn't blink, you see, as we're talking. But of course this is no free lunch, we have an input here. But this is a very low input, you see, this is where it stops, 10 hertz, 10% 10 cycle duty. This high voltage flash is coming from this big coil here. This is kind of like Bedini style, using the back EMF utilization. Now when I use a higher frequency, much higher, the neon capacitor trick doesn't work anymore because the neon stays on. So we really have to tune the frequency to the coil and the capacitors. It's a much more, as you can see, complicated um, circuit as a whole but as you see it replaces and you get the same result this is a 15 watt lamp and we're not using 15 watts here i can guarantee you you see it right here no tricks okay i show you all around here there's no tricks the lamp is just i just looped the wire here because it was hanging i didn't want it to see no tricks at all nothing weird under the table you see And we have no problem, you know we're talking here and everything is good, 15 watts folks, 
with very little input. I'm not sure off the top of my mind here what the calculation is. We could figure it out. A 9 volt battery being pulsed into a 1.9 ohm coil, 10 hertz at 10% duty cycle, and we're getting hundreds of volts back of back EMF charging real jolts, joule or amps per second discharges into the capacitor bank at 100 volts. So this inverter just keeps running, you know. And it lights up my whole kitchen, as you can see. Very, very, I have to put my hand in front of it because it blinds me. I can't see the controller here. But the neon keeps doing its thing, you see. The one on the top is the SCR that fires into the uh, capacitor. And the one on the bottom blinking is when the coil creates back EMF and is actually charging. It's limiting into the capacitor so we don't, we don't fry our transistor here with the back EMF. So we've been talking all this time, you know. Battery is cold, cold, cold. Very, very sharp cycle duty. As long as we can maintain this, of course, it's going to stop eventually, you know, no free lunch, but this is extreme efficiency.